Yeah, what is going on everybody? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you the next matchup of the DLC character tournament. So real quick, if you're new, a few rules that you need to follow if you want to participate, and you're more than welcome to, it's very easy. Uh, all you have to do is, to, is to, to vote, and the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing the name of the character in today's matchup. You see that by the name of the or the title of the video or the thumbnail the two characters and i'll go over that in a minute for their matchup but simply type the name of one of those characters that you'd rather see as dlc characters um their background their d confirmation if they you think they have any none of that matters it's just personally who would you rather see so that uh, i guess that's a rule and then uh, one vote per person and uh, it's a double elimination tournament, so character has to lose twice before they're officially eliminated. If there's a tie in the voting, I flip a coin. Easiest way to break the tie. So, yeah, that's pretty much the simple part, the easy rules. Again, just down in the comments, type the name. Pretty simple. So, um, voting also stays open for only one week. So, if you get your vote in after the one week, well, it doesn't count. But uh, thanks for voting anyway. Uh, but let's get to the results from... Last week, which was a uh, loser bracket matchup, Hayachi taking on Dr. Eggman. Now, one of them is going home, like I just said, and it was actually pretty close. And um, I guess I'm a little surprised at the winner, so let's just not waste time. We'll just show you here. There we go. Dr. Eggman ends up winning 34 to 29 votes, so one by five votes. Um, I guess I'm just a little surprised with Eggman, honestly. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Eggman, you know, when it comes to DLC or just being in Smash Bros. in general, but Eggman keeps winning, so congrats to Eggman for that. He does get to move on for at least one more game because th this is the loser bracket, so he already has one loss, and if he loses one more time, he's officially done, but he gets to move on to face Dixie Kong in the next round, so yeah, there's that, and then uh, Hayachi is officially eliminated, only in two games, lost to Crash in the very first matchup of the tournament, and now lost to Dr. Eggman, so yeah, <laughs> too bad Hayachi, I guess nobody wants you, even though you're already in Smash, he is, look him up, he's actually in Smash Ultimate, he's not a playable character, but he is in Smash. All right, um, so uh, let's go to, what's the matchup today, what did we have yesterday, Skull Kid, Cry all right, so today's matchup is Master Chief taking on Elma from Xenoblade. Let's jump into it. So this is the two that you'd vote for, obviously, because that's today's matchup. So Master Chief. Uh, Master Chief's not on Nintendo, has no, you know, relevancy for Nintendo. That it, I mean, it's a small point. It's a small point, but Master Chief's skin, again, I've never played Minecraft, so somebody has to let me know if this is true or not. But I've been told... From a couple people, or at least down in the comment section, a couple people have said this. The Master Chief skin in Minecraft is on Nintendo platforms. If that's true, Master Chief is on Nintendo. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's, it's not the same thing. I get it, but it's still Master Chief on Nintendo. Uh, yeah, take it how you want. <laughs> but So, Master Chief, of course, would be coming from Microsoft. The Chief is... Microsoft's Mario. If this were to happen, first of all, internet would explode. Second of all, I would love it. So would so many other people. Third of all, it's difficult. I think it's somewhat difficult to make happen. Only because if Microsoft does indeed get a rep in Super Smash Brothers as a DLC character, I think there's definitely characters that are far more likely for the for uh for Microsoft. Of course, Banjo being one, Steve for Minecraft being another one. Uh and then I'd say Master Chief is probably third. I mean, so many people know the name of Master Chief. They know the Halo series and his weapon is weapons. Well, yeah, weapons, but his move set wouldn't just be shotguns and assault rifles. They got energy swords, they got gravity hammers, they got um explosive they got grenades they got all sorts of unique things you could even incorporate some of the vehicles from halo the warthog the ghost um the banshee you could incorporate some of that stuff he's got a jet pack he's got a bubble shield he's got there's so many also the needler there there's just a lot of different possibilities for a moveset for chief and i did a moveset for master chief over a month ago 
I had a lot of fun coming up with that. It was actually really cool just to see the different kind of ways to use them. I, I like it. And personally, I, I just in terms of seeing this crossover happen, I'm such a huge fan of this possibility. Again, I'm not going to expect it. You know, I'm not expecting it to happen, but the possibility of it happening would just be absolutely nuts. I mean, hey, we got Cloud last game, right? We got Cloud and Wii U 3DS. Maybe we get Master Chief and Ultimate, right? Sorry, I, I get a little grin when I when I just think about that. I mean, just come on, th think about that. Master Chief against Cloud. Master Chief against Mario. Master Chief against Link. Pikachu. Master Chief against Samus. I mean, I want... <laughs> I want that to happen. I want Master Chief and Smash, but I mean, I, I'm I'm voting Master Chief already. I haven't even got to Elmo, but my vote is going to be Master Chief. I'm going to let you know that right now. But yes, um, I don't I don't know what else do I say about Master Chief. I just I really like him. I think he has a chance. Again, there's way but more likely candidates from Microsoft to be in Smash Bros than Master Chief. But hey. It could be that that fantasy character that that Cloud once was, that maybe Master Chief could be this time. Who knows? But I guess only time will tell. We'll we'll see if it ends up happening or not. But that would be that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Uh, but let's move on to Elma, another a character who I think a series that got sh the short end of the stick, so to speak, for new content in Smash Ultimate, which is the Xenoblade franchise. Now, of course. Unfortunately, Xenoblade 2, Rex, Pyramithra, they were all deemed too new to make it into the roster. And, you know, Sakurai really seemed like he loved the character Rex. And if Sakurai had a bit more time, I can almost... I, I really think Sakurai would have put... Uh, I think Rex would have been a playable character. Unfortunately, he's not. We got the me outfit instead. It's still better than nothing, but I kind of think, like, hey... If Sakurai was planning, like when he started planning Piranha Plant, why couldn't he use that time to focus on Rex? You know, like, hey, I really want Rex in the game. He might be too new, but I could work on him very late into the DLC cycle, and Rex would have taken the place of Piranha Plant, and Rex could have been that free DLC character. Just my thoughts, but shifting back to Elma here. So, since, you know, Xenoblade 2 was deemed a little bit too new... How about we go back a game, Xenoblade Chronicles X, with Elma. That's, she's, hands down, she's like the most popular from the game. Or at least she's the most talked about it, for for sure. Uh, I mean, she's a female. There's always room for more females on the roster. Love it. Uh, she would bring a pretty cool, unique moveset with her. I would love to see Elma, honestly. And uh, Elma is kind of somewhat always been a sleeper character leading up to Smash Ultimate's release. But now we already know that, uh, well, she's not in the roster. She is a spirit. But again, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she's a spirit. If you still want Elma over Master Chief, vote Elma. That's how this works. That's how it works. So I, th I think, though, Xenoblade as a franchise for Nintendo is definitely an up-and-coming one. They, you know, a couple games in just a few years. Uh, they sold pretty well. The well, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I'm pretty sure, sold... Not the, I mean, I think it's sold pretty decently for the Wii U, especially the Wii U, right? And then, you know, there's a lot of buzz about Xenoblade 2 when that got released on the Switch last year. Wow, has that already been a year? Wow. That's great. That's fast. But, um, yeah, so I, I just think Elma, Xenoblade, kind of, they deserve another, at least a second rep. I, I could, I could say, personally for me, Xenoblade should get two reps and then they're good for a while. Until, <clears throat> excuse me, until like the franchise kind of continues to grow, maybe get some more faces to the franchise, you know, then add them on later on. But I don't know, Elmo would make a great addition. I really think so. Um, she's on my list, but uh, she's kind of further down the list of characters that I personally would want. You know, there's a ton of others that I'd rather have ahead of her. Master Chief being one. So, yeah, easy for me. My vote's Master Chief. Uh, still interested to see how this turns out. Are people going to vote for Elma because they'd rather have her and they just don't think Master Chief has a chance? Or, I don't know. We'll figure that out. But um, that's pretty much it for this one. So, got to go over a sneak peek for Monday's episode. Yes, I will be doing uh, the videos for Christmas Eve and Christmas. The tournament will continue, at least, for those two days. So, 
Um, let's see. So the matchup for Monday on Christmas Eve is going to be Spyro against Isaac. Pretty cool. Again, loser bracket. One of them is going to lose, so better get your votes in. Same with Master Chief and Elmo. One of these two are going to lose. We'll find out next Saturday. And then, then the results. The results for Monday. We're going to get the results of Bay Dan and Waddle Dee and Shantae. That's one I am very eager to uh, check out. I can't wait to see how that one turned out. Again, lot, lots of turnout, good amount of views, good amount of voting overall. I just, you know, just based on the comment number I've seen. I still haven't checked this. I will check it on Monday. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Uh, again, who you got, Master Chief or Elmo? Pretty simple. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as usual. I look forward to your voting as always, and hopefully we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.